Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, I recently went on vacation to see some family and had a chance to visit Osaka, Japan and visit Universal Studios and more importantly, Super Nintendo World. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Going to Japan was one of the highlights of my family vacation with my son, who is a huge Mario fan. Joining a tour group, exploring Japan is absolutely breathtaking and an adventure in itself. As a huge gaming fan, I was able to see and surprised to see how Nintendo pretty much owns Japan as I virtually see the Switch and their games everywhere, with Sony PlayStation 4 still very popular and to a smaller extent the PlayStation 5. Xbox was pretty much non-existent and I found a rare section next to the PlayStation VR section by absolute luck. Of course, going to Universal was a huge part of the tour and of course on the final day. Super Nintendo World opened in 2020 in Japan and will follow the opening in the US this year in 2023. The world is breathtaking when you first enter as you feel like one of the levels straight from the game. The colors, attention to detail and all is done very perfectly to give you that sense of awe. As you walk in, be prepared to pay as there is a power U-Ban that allows you to play the games, collect coins, achievements and also the only way to access the challenge of Bowser Jr. This will have you drop just about $30 per band. There are two rides with Mario Kart Koopa Challenge and Yoshi's Adventure and the, of course, Bowser Jr. challenge that is needed with three keys. Mario Kart is like your typical indoor motion ride where you wear a 3D helmet to help you visualize what's on screen as you race and get points. I wasn't able to get too much footage here as all the visualization is within the helmet itself. Yoshi's Adventure is clearly aimed at younger children where you look for different colored eggs and press the right color when you see it and get points. A very slow, methodical ride, but it has a tremendous view of the entire section of Nintendo World that was amazing in itself. We weren't able to get to Bowser Jr. as you need three keys to access the challenge and we ran out of time as we went to see other parts of the park later on. We were only able to get two keys before leaving. The food looked amazing as they were very detailed to the look and feel of the games itself. The design team really did a good job and the food also tasted as good as it looked. The mini games available to gain access to the keys were also meant for younger audiences and you couldn't lose but just to have a little challenge and a sense of accomplishment. You can also sync the wristband to your app on your phone to see your progress and score. The merchandise was massive and don't expect anything here to be at a balanced price. Everything and everything was expensive as it should be. With everyone around you wearing Nintendo gear, it's hard not to pick up anything at all. The biggest con besides the money you will spend is the crowds. Easily the busiest part of the whole park was Super Nintendo World. The lines were long and we had a limited time to walk around everything as the lines were extremely long with the park only open for just about 10 hours. The rest of the park was also fun to walk about especially with Despicable Me and Harry Potter but they are carbon copies of the US Universal Studio in LA but in Japanese. Still a blast to visit and experience. I do hope our time there on the app transfers when the U.S. parks open 
so that we don't have to lose all our progress when we visit the LA version down the line. But overall, an incredible experience. Just make sure you plan well, as I bet it will be shoulder to shoulder crowds everywhere. That's it for this look into Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios in Osaka, Japan. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be hope out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.